Welcome to a new season and a refresh format of Now Innovating, a research to impact series at the University of Calgary. I'm your host, Julia McGregor, and today we're filming at the brand new Alberta Centre for Advanced Diagnostics, or ACAD. ACAD contains the physical infrastructure and partnerships needed to prototype and validate new diagnostic tools and connect them with Alberta's healthcare end users, reducing the time and costs needed for companies to commercialize. The Centre has three core facilities, Diagnostic Prototyping, Diagnostic Evaluation, and the Calgary Metabolomics Research Facility. I'm excited to chat with Dr. Stephanie Bishop and Dr. Mahedi Mohammadi. They are both postdoctoral associates in the Faculty of Sciences, Department of Biological Sciences, and are with the Lewis Research Group in ACAD's Calgary Metabolomics Research Facility. Their research and expertise in metabolomics have led to the creation of their company, Fluidome, which designs and builds high-quality metabolomics-based kits and software. So hello, Stephanie, and hello, Mehdi. How are you doing today? Great, thanks so much for having us. Thank you very much for inviting us. No, I'm very happy to have you on the show. Uh, so to give some context to people that might not know what really metabolomics is, can you just describe what that area of research is? Yes, I imagine many people don't know what metabolomics is, but it's basically a powerful analytical tool that can be used to measure all the chemicals in a biological sample. And it can even help us understand the interactions between these different chemicals. Uh, metabolomics has tons of applications in many diverse fields, including infection diagnostics, um, <laughs> bioengineering, agriculture, and um, even personalized treatments. Oh, wow, so lots of applications. Yeah. Although the metabolomics is a great emerging technology, but it has a main challenge, like a, a challenge like a, like a, a complex uh, procedure and uh, uh, lack of QC, QA, and uh, need, requiring an expert person to run a uh, multi-step workflow and run the experiment and the instrument and data, like uh, analyzing the data. So these challenging uh, or hampered the utility of the metabolomics for clinical uh, diagnosis and application. And uh, this is the gap that we defined and uh, we are working right now in fluid. Oh, excellent. Um, so thank you for that context. And I will continue to try to say metabolomics correctly for the rest of the interview. <laughs> but if you just tell us a bit more about your individual areas of research in this field, I would love to learn more about that. Uh, my background is uh, biomedical engineering, more specifically developing a rapid diagnosis tool, like a point of care device. And uh, I uh, realized that this expertise could uh, tackle metabolomics challenging and make it more simpler and uh, cheaper and easier for everyone. And uh, this, developing this tool needs like a multi-expert uh, expertise from like a engineering or developing a device, like a simulation, uh, uh, designing uh, rapid prototyping and testing validation. And also for those, we need like, a, I, I had to like uh, increase my knowledge in like advanced microbiology and virology and uh, metabolomics for sure, and data analysis to make sure that this device is fully functional and ready to go. Excellent. Yeah, so opposed to Medi, my background is actually analytical chemistry. So I'm really interested in, my, in microbes and what they produce um, and how that, affects this, how that affects their metabolism. So one of the things I'm really interested in looking at is microbial communities and how microbes interact with each other in these complex communities. So in order to study these really complex biological systems, you need a multidisciplinary research team with different skill sets like engineering, chemistry, biology, and even uh, data science. So it's a really exciting uh, field to be in right now. Oh, I didn't actually realize it was so interdisciplinary. Yes, yeah, very interdisciplinary. That's very cool. So uh, Mehdi, as the founder of Fluid Dome, like, so with doing your research, how did you get the idea to start this company? Yes, that is, uh, well, uh, when, once I start uh, my postdoc at the University of Calgary as an engineer for developing rapid tools or like a device for rapid diagnosis of bloodstream infection, I realized that metabolomics is, is a cool technology, but uh, it's, uh, it's extremely complex. And, uh, and uh, in, in same time, the most like, uh, like uh, things that uh, like, uh, 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 I realized that uh, there is a huge gap in market and there is no uh, customized device for metabolomics to make it simpler, cheaper, faster. So 
I realized that my expertise could uh, could uh, help to make it simple, or like a, from multi-step to single step, or like a, adding like a QC QA to like a data, or like a, make it more uh, like a accessible for everyone. And then you met Stephanie, and did your expertise like lend into? Yes, yeah. Team? So it was a great match. I, I met Medi at the Lewis Research Group when I started my postdoc in 2020, and I was really excited by the stuff he was working on. I thought it was super cool. He was using engineering to solve metabolomics problems, um, and then I wanted to kind of lend my analytical chemistry expertise to bring these platforms to the next level. Very cool, indeed. Thank you for sharing that. So. You know, you have your company. Just take us along your innovation journey so far. So, like, what has the process been like for you? What steps have you taken? Cool. So, um, uh, the innovation start uh, in 2018. So, I would say like a developing this kit, and uh, I became very serious about like a commercialization of this this device or tools because I saw, we we validated in our lab and we saw that it's working for us and. And uh, I became serious and for commercialization of this device, and I founded Freedom in 2020. Um, 2020, and uh, and uh, the journey of the commercialization start that time. And uh, uh, so far, we developed like a different tools that that uh, make metabolomics is cheaper and faster and uh, easier, but uh, in the same time, we validated for clinical microbiology. One of the applications that uh, t, uh, we developed was, uh, was uh, uh, developing a tools for rapid diagnosis of bloodstream infection, and we already tested with more than 500 patient sample, which uh, reduced the time of diagnosis from three to five days to five hours, and could handle more than 2,000 patient sample in one day, which was, very like uh, interesting for me, and uh, and uh, 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 and also another like a product that I was working on like uh, on on this and uh, found huge gap in advanced microbiology and microbiome was uh, understanding how microbe communicate each other in polymicrobial community and microbiome project. So this device actually could decouple this and find the contribution of each microbe in polymicrobial community. These are like, it was very like interesting for me, those projects. Yeah, so you move forward and that's, so, okay, so you are commercialized, you have the company founded. Um, obviously there's been programs and resources like as you know, po both postdocs in the University of Calgary, like what have you access to like aid you on this journey? Yeah, so we've accessed a lot of the mentorship programs that are available through Calgary, including uh, the Evolved Innovate program, the Tenet ITC pitch competition, which we were finalists at earlier this year. Oh, congratulations. Uh, thank you. The Academic Entrepreneurs in, in Residence mentorship program has been really helpful for us. Of course, our academic advisor, Dr. Ian Lewis, has helped us along our innovation journey a lot, and we're part of the ACAD ecosystem, so that's been a great support. And all of this has led to us actually being accepted into the Creative Destruction Labs program this year as well, which is another mentorship program. Amazing. So a lot, we've accessed tons of supports, and we're always looking for opportunities to gain more knowledge uh, about commercialization. That's excellent. Oh, so exciting. And I guess, too, like the, pro, like the step four, too, like, you know, you did Tenet, and then you went back and got mentorship from AIR. So it's not yes. necessarily just a forward path all the time, right? Exactly. Oh, of course not. So we realized that... Uh, 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 working a startup company is not about like a product development. It's uh, there are different angles that we have to work on it, like, uh, like a finance, business development, management, and, uh, and marketing. And these are, as a scientist, a little bit like uh, like awkward, and and we have to like uh, increase our knowledge and. Uh, and but the good things about uh, Innovate Calgary, like uh, uh, University of Calgary, uh, was uh, lots of the resources around uh, of University of Calgary that could help us, and like we work with them, many mentor to to work on those like area. And yeah, as Stephanie been, mentioned, it's been great. So many people have so much expertise, and they're willing to share it. So it's been a really great university to start a company in. Excellent. And then as postdocs, like. What was like the risk for you to you know move forward with this, right? You know, it's, it's kind of scary to be like, you know, I'm in the lab. I'm just used to like just doing papers and you know, doing validations that way. Like to actually, yeah, as you're saying, like take on a business and like learn how to do marketing and get yourself out there and uh, talk to other people about it. Like, 
So tell me about that, like the process of you know being brave enough to do this. Uh, well, uh, uh, I think as a postdoc or a scientist, I would say uh, our main goal is creating impact, not creating publication, right? And this impact could come, and one of the avenue of like creating this impact is uh, commercialization or taking, willing to take. Uh, from innovation in a lab to in like a, from invention in a lab to innovation in like a company or like a like a, a, a commercialization platform, and uh, and this the major risk for this is uh, is uh, uh, considering lack of like a like a productivity in terms of like a publication for the postdoc because there is we are talking about short period of time. Right, and uh, but if we talk about the productivity in terms of like uh, creating impact in the society, I would say it's uh, b the commercializ commercialization and like a startup. It's a great platform that we have to consider. Yeah, I completely agree with Mehdi. Um, I think we're totally aligned on this front that we believe that impact is not just how many publications you have or how high impact factor those journals are, but it's about actually creating impact in the daily lives of regular people. Um, so that's what's really important to me. And But that is a huge risk when you're in an academic setting because, of course, you're, you don't have time to do everything. I think that's the biggest risk is just kind of not having enough time to do all the things you want to do. So you have to make sure you're really focused and balanced with doing research. I know I wish I could be in the lab every Every day, but I don't, you know, when you're doing these business pursuits, you often don't have time to be in the lab as much as you would like. So I think that's the greatest risk for me is just making sure that you're not burning yourself out and making sure you're balancing your time between research and doing, you know, commercialization pursuits. But at the end of the day, once you can see the impact that your commercialization uh, has had on society, I think that would be the most rewarding for me. Excellent. Well, I'm glad you've both taken the risk and have moved Fluid Dome as far as you have. So I'm just really excited to see where you go next. Um, so I want to just ask you two for advice for other postdocs or researchers in the university who, you know, may have been working on something for a while and like they are, they're not sure about, you know, taking that next step to get it out of the lab or looking at commercialization or looking at other avenues. Like what advice would you have for them to take that first step? Well, I I had a, like an opportunity to talk to many postdocs and peers over like the last couple of years, and uh, and many of them uh, think uh, commercialization is very scary, which is scary and uh, is very challenging too. But to be honest, uh, is uh, to be honest, uh, nobody could translate your idea to real impact and uh, like a or like a practical solution or product in the market unless you take a risk, right? So, uh, and uh, there are, as a scientist, we have some knowledge of like a, like a, like a, like a, how we can make a functional device or protocol, but there are some aspect of an angle of like a, like a commercialization and a company or startup, like a, like a, like a management, which we could seek all like a like a program in like a, a University of Calgary and like Innovate Calgary Life Science Hub and uh, there are many many mentor that really share their experience and uh, uh, my uh, my like a comment or suggestion is uh, just willing to take uh, this risk and talking to everyone maybe your idea could like uh, could be a game change turn into game changer technology down the road who knows. Yeah, I would add to that just I think you need to be willing to change your perspective from that of an academic where you have certain metrics that you're measuring as indicators of success to more broader societal impacts as your indicators of success would be um, just making that shift in mindset is very challenging for academics. It's definitely been challenging for me. Um, and so if you're willing to do that and have an open mind as to like what do you actually want to do with your science or your technology or whatever you're developing, I think that can really help you to make this shift and realize that impact is not just getting publications or traditional academic metrics. And also one, one more thing is just be willing to fail a lot and realize you know nothing about business the business world and feel like you know nothing at all. So um, I, academics often like to be experts in their field and you will not be an expert in entrepreneurship skills. So um, kind of have to start from scratch on that one. But you know, it's really fun because you, you, you pick it up really fast. So if you're willing to dive into it, you can pick up those skills really quickly. Um, and of course, we've had tons of mentorship along the way to help us. 
Excellent. Well, thank you so much for both joining me today and sharing your story. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to learn more about Fluidome and their offerings, you can visit their website, fluidome.ca. And um, yeah, just thank you so much. Thanks for thank having us. Thank you very us. much for having us. For more information on how to move your research to impact within the innovation at UCalgary ecosystem, visit ucalgary.ca slash innovation.